Well, if only giving birth was the hardest part of being a parent. Those little people need a lot of work. Yeah, and the earlier you start on developing that bundle of joy into a healthy adult, the better. Yeah, but somewhere along the line, we're falling short. The number of overweight preschoolers has doubled over the past 10 years. Children who aren't physically active on a regular basis have increased medical problems and don't perform as well in school. Here with more on the importance of physical activity for children, we have Pam Elsky, who is a physical therapist. Pam, so good to have you with us. Thank you. Okay, first off, how can we encourage kids to stay active? There are so many kids who spend a lot of time in front of the screen, whether it's a TV, some kind of electronic device, a video game. How do we encourage them just to get out and be more active? Part of it is a lifestyle change. As, as we've already mentioned, it's food choices, making that part of the expectation. So with the screen time, most kids are watching three and four hours of things. That's including computers, iPads, Kindles, Nooks, TVs, anything with a screen. The recommendation is one hour. The issue is getting kids to do less of that without making it a punishment or making it a reward. So you have to make that the expectation and part of the routine. But Pam, if you have a child who's not athletic, yeah. not into sports, how do you work that activity into their life? Chores, honestly, are, are a good part because you can incorporate yard work, gardening, things that you can do with your child, going for walks in the park. You don't have to be athletic to be active. Um, a lot of parks and rec departments have options for day trips, um, also for different things, tennis lessons. The city of Hickory offers free swim lessons each summer, things that would give your children things that are nice to know how to do, like swimming, but also keep them active and maybe find something they enjoy. Sometimes just e even if you as a parent go outside with your kid and yep. play tag or hide and seek or shoot hoops Anything. or something like that, mm -hmm. th that counts too, doesn't yep. it? As long as they're moving around. As long as they're moving. But yep. I like the sound of chores. Yes, because <laughs> that, yes, like that, that burns calories and that's increased activity. So very that, good. That counts if you have kids that really just are very anti-sport, anti-game. Mm -hmm. uh, talk about the benefits of keeping kids active. I mean, we know that it helps with weight mm -hmm. management. It's, it's pretty much the same as adults. It decreases their risk of diabetes, heart disease, um, their cholesterol. Kids currently, you know, are having issues with all of those things. It's good emotionally, and it helps them with socialization as well. So it actually gives them that rush of endorphins you mentioned to make them happier kids. But I can imagine using the word exercise yeah. with them kind of makes it sound more like a chore yeah. than fun. And for children, it's really play. So if you think of infants, their exercise is play, so it's setting up things to help them gain those motor skills as they progress. Hopping, single leg hopping, throwing a ball, things that are age appropriate for children. You should not have a toddler trying to play ice hockey. That's not age appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Pam Elsky, Fry Regional Medical Center, thank you so thank much. You. Thank you. And parents, go out and be involved with your kids yes, too. And please. That'll help.